Hello, Tom Cosm here. Welcome to another tutorial video. Today's one is on uh, uh, or part of a series of vocal effects and crazy things you can do with the vocals. Uh, very extreme things, good for dance music, not little subtle things for mixing and that kind of stuff. Um, today I'm going to focus on the vocoder in Ableton. Now the vocoder is a very powerful and underused tool in live. Um, it's, 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 it was its main purpose or its main use is that kind of robot sound. It's basically used to mix one sound from another. So we're going to use this today to actually take a vocal sample and mix it with a synth and get a robot sound. And uh, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain how to do it. Um, you can get very deep on the uh, how this actually works, and I'm not gonna go too much into the detail. You can uh, the help file in Ableton is really really good. I might do another video at the end of the series to get really really deep on how it works. Um, but today I'm just gonna show you how how it's used because it can catch a lot of people out. Some people don't really know how Vocoder works. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop in the sample here. This is the sample that I'm gonna be using. So let's just have a quick look to this. I'm gonna turn the warping off. And let's listen to it. I just never stop at leaving. Say no to acid. Very cool. So I'm just going to use this part of the sample. And this is what we're going to use. I'm going to loop that. And that's very good. Now this is our audio track. I'm going to call it vocal. Now what we, what we want to do is we want to mix that with another source. Now I, I'm going to drop in the vocoder for a start. Double click. And you see we've got it here. Now the two... The, th the two things you need to know, or the two keywords, are the carrier and the modulator. Now the carrier is, is the external signal that gets sent to the vocoder, or, or, the, or the, 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 the external sound that's to be mixed into the original one, which is called the modulator. So the original is the modulator, or the, or the thing that you're modulating, the carrier carries the signal. And the carrier actually brings to the modulator frequency uh, information. So it actually brings information about the pitch and, and everything to the actual amplitude or the volume of the modulator. So just to, I'll, I'll explain that a bit more in depth in the moment. I'll give you a very good visual example. But by default, you see, here's the carrier section here in the vocoder. By default, it's set to noise. Now we've got four options here. Noise basically just mixes white noise, the frequency information of white noise, or that sound. It's gonna mix that with our sample. And we get this kind of sound. I just never stop it leaving. Say no to acid. It's all good, it's not the cool sound that we're after though. What we want is we want to take the sound from an external part of Ableton. Now before we do that we need to create that external part. So I'm going to introduce a new MIDI track like this and I'm going to call it, uh, we'll call it I'll call it synth for now. Or synth. There we go. So this is my synth. I'm going to load up an operator in here and I'm going to give it a very basic saw wave. A saw D like so. So if I play this You'll all know that sound by now. And I'm going to insert a MIDI clip, Command Shift M, and I'm going to put in a, a long continuous note, like so. So if I just solo this track, we get. If we solo this one, we get. Together, we get. So it's 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 not mixing how we want at the moment. It's because the synth's getting sent to the master out. See, this is the output here. It's getting sent to the master, but we don't want it to play the actual synth sound. We don't want it to play that saw wave. We want that saw wave to be mixed with the vocal. So I'm going to go and set this to sends only. What that does is it means it's it's going to play it, but it's not actually going to audib audibly play it. So we can see see how this turns blue. It means well, I'm getting sent to the sends, but. The sends are set to uh, negative infinity, so they're not actually getting any volume. It's still playing though, and that's what we want, because if we go over here to this vocal track, back to the carrier, pick external, you know, uh, this, this parameters here change to a new audio from drop-down box, we can pick the synth as the external source. So again, we're taking this track, and we're sending it to the vocoder on this track. So this is the carrier, and it's, it's going to send it across here to the modulator. Now if we play this, we'll probably get the desired effect. I just never stop at leaving. Say no to acid. Very cool. Now that's what we want. Of course, we can now go into this MIDI clip and we can change the notes around. Let's make it an octave lower. I just never stop at leaving. Very cool. We could go into the synth track and we could change the saw to a square. I just never stop at leaving. Very cool. Let's put some FM on it. So, I just never stop at leaving. so you can see how, how you can get the sound. Um, th this is how you get this particular sound. Now, one thing people tend to do is, is get really busy with the synth before they actually start playing with the vocal. My suggestion is to keep it as really, really clean, nice saw wave, nice square wave, maybe a bit of FM if, if you want a bit of grime to it. Um, if you keep the if you if you keep the um, the the, the um, carrier clean, uh, 
then you get a very crisp sound in your vocoder, and then you can put effects after it and kind of uh, screw it up however you want. So that's that's the basic gist of it. If I go in here and put in a few more notes, so like, I mean, you don't have to have just one note. We could make a chord. Let's go up and make a G minor chord, like so. Etc. Etc. So again. This is sending the frequency information, this is giving it the volume or the amplitude contour and then mixing those together. Now I'm just going to give you another quick representation of how this works because it does, it is a bit of a, a mindfuck to get your head around sometimes. So I'm going to simply draw my uh, waveform, uh, my synth line down here again and I'm going to send this to the master, I'll explain why in a sec. Very cool, I'm going to put that back to a... Uh, what should we do? Something's not sounding right, I'm just going to restart my operator. There we go, it's a wee bit too fat. So I'm going to bring this down. There's a saw wave. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to export this for you. So I'm going to render this down to my vocoder video. I'm going to call it saw. So I'm just rendering down a nice solid saw wave there. Very cool. I'm going to go into the vocals and I'm going to do the same. I'm just going to turn the vocoder off. I just never stop. So there's our clean vocal. And I'm going to render this down as a, uh, we'll call that vocal. Now the reason I'm doing this is I want to introduce you to this pr uh, program called Photo Sounder. Now this is a, pr a program, it's, it's a spectrogram, uh, but it can convert audio into uh, uh, kind of pictures and it can convert pictures back into audio again. It's very cool, um, very, very useful and very interesting to get ideas down. So I, what I can do is I can open up one of these these samples here. Let's open up the saw wave. And you'll see we've got our frequency here, 27.5 hertz up to 20,000 uh, here. Uh, you can change these parameters down the bottom if you want the um, the ranges to go more. So this is time, basically, and this is frequency. And you can see we've got this really nice saw wave. It's drawing a picture of our saw wave. You see there's our fundamental our 100 hertz there, which is really nice. Here's our, here's our um, uh, harmonic here, or the harmonics going up in the, in, the, in the series. Very, very, very cool. So if I play this... You can hear it's a bit messy, it's a bit hissy, but that's okay. Um, this is just to give you an example. I'm going to click save, and I'm going to save this as saw. So I've saved this now as a picture. I've saved this picture. I've got a picture of a saw wave. Pretty cool. I'm going to do the same with the vocals. And while this is loading, I have seen this example on the official Photo Sounder YouTube video. Uh, they they opened my eyes up to how to do this. Um, so I, I have actually, uh, I am kind of duplicating what they've done. Um, I will make sure I give them all the credit where the credit's due. Please go ahead and buy the software if you think it's awesome. Um, just giving a bit more rundown on how it actually works. So this is our vocal sample here. You can see it's a bit more messy than the, than the nice uh, digital saw wave. And let's play that. I just never stop with leaving. So again, you can hear it's a bit, a bit screwed up, but... It's okay for now. I'm going to save this as a picture as well. So let's go vocal. Boom. Now I have two pictures, a saw wave and a vocal. The fun part is we're going to mix these together using Fireworks, which is an Adobe product. Uh, he uses Photoshop. I'm using Fireworks just because I don't own Photoshop. So I'm going to open up, uh, where are we here? Desktop. Okay, the video. Okay, what I've done is I've accidentally saved them as sound files. So I'm just going to save them again. Vocals. Uh, image file, save, good, open that saw wave again, let's take us a second, yep, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these in a graphic editing program, and I'm going to mix the actual pictures together, so this is this is cool, and we're going to get the same result, we're going to get the same desired result, um, and it's a really good eye-opener as to how vocoders work, so I'm going to save this one as the saw, and make sure we save it as a picture file, very cool. So let's go into Fireworks here. I'm going to go open, open. Where are we? Saw and vocal. No, we're in the wrong folder. Saw and vocals. Open. So here's our two images. Here's our vocals. Here's our saw wave. They look pretty cool. So I'm just simply going to copy this in Fireworks. This is going to be a Fireworks tutorial. I'm going to paste it over the top and then I'm going to change the blending, uh, the layer blending algorithm to multiply. So that has multiplied the saw wave uh, 
with the vocal. So you can see that the saw wave here, giving the frequency information, well, this, these are the fr this is the frequency here. Remember, the frequency is going up, up, up this side here, and then it's mixing it with the amplitude of the vocal samples. So the vocal samples is determining the amplitude or the volume of each of those individual frequencies and harmonics. Ooh, so now the fun part is we can go save as uh, desktop vocoder video. I'm going to call this mixed. Very cool. So we've saved that image back to Photo Sounder, open, mixed. And what do we have here? We've got what we saved in Fireworks. Let's play it. I just never stop believing. Say no to acid. So I just... it doesn't sound as, as pure as it does in Ableton, but I hope that gives you a really good example of how that actually works. Uh, it's a very, very neat trick. Um, and uh, I, I, again, go check out Photo Sounder. You can do some really crazy shit with this program. I mean, just think you can load up a, a, a sound that you've created, export it, load it up into Photoshop or whatever, and liquefy it, filter it, change it, muck with it, uh, kaleidoscope it, and bring it back and see what it sounds like. like if, you, if you want to take the audio realm into the visual realm, muck with it, put it back in the audio realm, do it. Um, you just waste many, many hours though, but it's good fun. So yeah, uh, that's the vocoder in a nutshell. Um, we've got other modes in the vocoder. Uh, I'll go into modular and pitch tracking in my next video. Um, and uh, again, go check out the manual if you want to know what the, the... I mean, we've got bands here and formats and this kind of stuff. These, these subtly make changes to the sound or drastically if you want. Um, yeah, go check it out. Um, yeah, I think... Just before I go, I'm going to finish off on a tangent like I like to do sometimes. I'm going to insert a new audio track. I'm going to go in and grab a very simple, uh, what do we got here? House Loops. This is the Vengeance Pack. Definitely buy this if you are wanting a really good sample pack. I'm going to drag this into an audio track, a simple house loop. That's very cool. Just loop it. I'm just going to show you another thing you can use the vocoder for, which isn't really related to uh, vocals, but fuck it. So here's my audio track. I'm going to drop in a, a vocoder like so. So that's the white noise. Well, let's change that to external again and change it to synth. And we get... Very cool. We can, I'm going to change this to a chord. Let's make it a, again, we'll make it a G minor with a big bass and a freaking 9. So you can see what you can do, I'm mixing the frequency information from these chords into the amplitude of a house loop. Of a, of a drum loop.
anyway, you get the idea. So thanks for watching. I uh, know it's been a long one. Um, yeah, TomCosm.com. Have lots of fun. And see you next time.